Let's turn this invention into an Instagram filter. And welcome back to Unnecessary Inventions. So I think everyone has Instagram and has used one of the face filters at one point or another. Like, let's see. So let's see, we can do this. Get a nice big mouth going. What do we got? We got a nice starry night. Ooh, look at those shades. I look pretty damn good. Today, we're gonna make our very own Instagram filter based on one of my own inventions, the cuisine curtain. So basically, I'm gonna turn this into a 3D model that is gonna track on your face when you try and record it on your phone. So Facebook has their own software called Spark AR, where you can design face filters, distortions, set up a scene for somewhere, and use it all within the camera app within Instagram or in Facebook. So, let's go jump into it. All right, so I'm set up at my computer, so let's dive into Spark AR. So here we have a brand new project that we can work with. So over here in the camera icon, we can switch up what the person looks like for the camera. We can try different types of people to try and make sure that it works for everybody. Or you can turn on your own face ID and you can see yourself. But we're just going to stick with one of the other ones for right now. So the first thing we want to do is go right click over here in the scene and we want to add a face tracker. And what this is going to do is just track our face. And then within there, we wanna add a face mesh. So there, so now we can see that it is tracking everything that his face does. Tracking his eyes, his mouth, his nose, when he turns, all that kind of stuff. From there, we wanna go and add a material to this face mesh. And there it adds a nice little texture to his face. And we can go over here to the assets column and click on the material. And from here, if you wanna make it a different color, you can do that. I'm just gonna keep it white so we can see it and maybe turn the opacity down a little bit so we can still see the mesh, but we can still also see his face as well. So now that we have the face tracking all set, let's go over to Fusion 360 and get our 3D model of the Cuisine Curtain. So here we have the original 3D model of the Cuisine Curtain that goes into your nose, and then down here is where all of the rings go. And since I made those other sections in the real world and not on the 3D printer, let's quickly 3D design the rings that go along the bottom and then the curtain itself. We're gonna make those super simple. So we want it to kind of be right there in the middle. Let's go 0 0.5, 4, and then so there we have our very first rod. And then we just wanna quickly make a little pattern that goes across and duplicates that. Let's go for eight of them. There we go. Let's do seven. I think that looks good enough. So there we have all of the rings on the curtain rod and then we just need to quickly make the curtain itself. Go there, four inches or so. Let's maybe have it match the size of that. I'm going to export each one of those individual objects and then import them over into Spark AR. So we're just gonna highlight all three of those items and drag them right into Spark AR. And we wanna make sure that they are then dragged and put onto the face tracker so that it's tracking on the face. You can see that it's tracking on its face, but it is definitely way too big and just facing the wrong direction. So over here, we wanna drop the scale down quite a bit, and we'll do that for all three of them. And look at that, so it's almost there. We did a quick little change and it is sort of in the right spot now. So all of these arrows right here are a different direction you can pull your object. You can also change it up here to rotate it. And if he's moving around too much up here, you can hit pause and that will <laughs> freeze him in place so I can get this where I want it without him moving every two seconds. Try and move the curtain down a little bit so it's more inside of his nose. So I think I might need to rotate just the rod itself so that it's tilted a little bit more so it looks like it's going into your nose and that way I can have all of the rest of them sticking out just a little bit. All right, let's hit play and see how that looks. All right, from the side view, I think we can tilt the curtain down just a little bit. Let's see what it looks like on maybe one of the other faces. I think it's still inside of their nose. Oh, you can see her lips kind of go through a little bit. So I think that means we need to pull the whole thing out just a little bit. Oh, the rings are off. I didn't even realize that. I think we need to scale the rings down a little bit. Over here, we'll go over to the scale and make these all just a little bit smaller so that they actually fit within the rod so it looks like they're actually there. Let's, let's turn on the camera and see how it looks on myself. 
because it's in 3D space, I can put my hand in front of it. So if I'm actually eating something, you'll be able to hide it and I can chew. And we got the side view. You can see around it. It can probably be moved back just a little bit, be a little bit more inside your nostrils. Let's do that quickly. So the next thing that we want to do, I don't like looking at myself, I want to change it. So the next thing we want to do is add some color to each of them. So over here in the assets folder, we have one of each of what we need, the curtain, the rod, and the rings. So if you click on the material for each item and go up here to color, we can go ahead and change the color of the curtain. So I think I'm gonna make it maybe like a nice little neon-y blue. Hit okay. Let's add some texture to it. This will make it kind of interact with the light. So as you move around, it sort of changes. Let's go to the rod itself. I'm gonna make that red just like the one I made earlier. Same thing for the texture. And then for the rings, we wanna make those white. Okay, let us try it on my own face again. Not too bad. It looks pretty good, I would have to say. And you can see down here, you can see my mouth moving with the face tracking, and you can kind of see around it. If I stick out my lips, it doesn't interact with the curtain itself. <laughs> that looks pretty good. The only other thing we need to do is go down for the material that we made for the face tracking, and we want to just completely turn that off so that when we have it, you're only seeing the curtain. So there we go. And all you have to do is go ahead, hit export. It'll have all the information. You can save it. Cuisine curtain IG filter. So then from there, it's basically easy step-by-step -step process. You basically just fill out all the information you need and you click submit and you wait for Facebook to approve your filter that anyone can use within the Instagram gallery. And just like that, we have our very own cuisine curtain in augmented reality. Let's bust it out. So here I am inside of the app with my filter. You can see it goes right inside my nose. We can see around it, we can eat. Nobody can see us chewing with our mouth open. And all of you will be able to use it very soon. So it does take Facebook just a couple of days to approve your filter before it goes live into Instagram and people can find it and use it and share the videos. But down in the description, I'll put a preview link and it should load in your Instagram camera for you to test it out. So then once Facebook does actually approve the filter, I'll go change the link down below. So use whatever's down there and check it out. Try out the Cuisine Curtain in your own Instagram filter. And I'll announce on Instagram when it actually goes live and that everyone can use it. And of course, a super quick plug, don't forget to pre-order the book, 101 Unnecessary Inventions. It has all of our wonderful inventions that we've made over the past year. So go ahead, the link for that is also in the description. You get a free membership card, you get it signed, all that fun stuff, and it will be shipping in just a few weeks. So get your hands on it. I hope you liked that super quick tutorial on how to make your own Instagram filter. I'm probably gonna dive into it a little bit more and figure out which other inventions I can probably use and bring to life for the Instagram filter camera. And with that, I think it's gonna be all that I have for today. So I'll see you at the next invention. See ya.